It was founded in 1975, but it started in 1960. Yeah. The Makerere University by then, East African University and uh, London. So we started as a section in the 60s. We were doing much of it is public education, preparing people for mature entry for to university, of, uh, doing a little uh, seminars and the weekend uh, forums where people could discuss burning issues and uh, also providing uh, uh, continuing education through distance education. And uh, of course, we, st we were established under Makerere University, but later on in 63, we moved with the University of Dar es Salaam when we started as a college under East African University. And then we stayed with the University of Dar es Salaam as a, a department of adult education until 1975, when we became independent. Possibly today is a lack of funds because uh, the schools are limited in number. And even if we have recently uh, added numbers in primary schools, in secondary schools, but there is a serious problem of shortage of teachers, shortage of learning facilities, you see? And by so then, you find those who cannot, there are some people who pass to join secondary education but cannot get in because they don't have money. And those who don't pass get selected to public schools. Uh, there are so many uh, private schools but they are, their prices are just yeah, unaffordable. So uh, uh, money is really an issue. So I think the problem is just a limited number of trans those who can transit from uh, primary to secondary education, limited number of schools, and uh, of course at university level, they, not everybody can get there. Even if there is loan, there is not enough space, and the problem is short of human resource. People who can teach at almost all levels, you see. And uh, there it comes then, if you want to really have enough human capital, you need also to train as much as possible. But there is also shortage at the training level. There is lack of serious lack of skills. So we need to, maybe we don't need to look into the type of education we are offering, how much it is really relevant to what uh, to our needs. You see. And then maybe see how best we can uh, come up with a system which really uh, produces graduates who are uh, mainly relevant to the job market. And it, uh, fortunately, the Institute of Adult Education is focusing on uh, upgrading people from the rural areas, yeah. improving them, making them better teachers better administrators, better mm. citizens. When the infrastructure is improved, literacy will improve. But also when the, uh, education is uh, more improved, more people will access education. And uh, definitely you cannot expect with the numbers of people we have to have all people get education through, edu through the classroom alone. We have to also use these alternative ways of educating people. That means literacy classes should continue. Uh, this uh, out of school youth uh, learning, continuing education should also get a place in the system of education so that those who cannot get access education through classroom, they access it through these other ways, through radio, through uh, distance learning, such things, TV, anything through internet so i've been teaching and uh, my uh, motto has been always helping all those i teach to go further the sky only should be the limit and if they can cross the limit of sky let them go for more videos please visit www.voicesoftanzania.com